Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, and my very full basket, we have an empties video to share for you. I have candles, I have wax melts, I have body care, I have a basket full of things that I finished up that I'm about to share with you guys. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, let's start with the candles. The first candle I finished this couple weeks is Balsam and Bergamot from Bath & Body Works. The notes are Balsam Branches, Crisp Air, and Zesty Bergamot. I'll be honest, I was very surprised when I smelled this scent in stores. I still have a hand soap in it. It's really, really pretty. It's very clean. I wasn't expecting it to be as clean smelling with the Balsam, but the Bergamot really tones down that sharp, almost aggressive like pine cleaner fragrance to make this just a very fresh scent and I really really enjoyed this one but typical Bath and Body Works fashion it burned super dirty and when it got to about here which you can literally see the line in here the flames got super super small almost non-existent so I literally burned it in here for days until it was done. I mean, the flames were so small. If I even breathed too heavy on it, boom, it would blow out. So I, you know, that's the struggle with Bath & Body Works candles, as we know. So I finished this guy. Next, I finished from Goose Creek Strawberry Sponge Cake. Now, look at how beautiful this label is. You have all the strawberries, the slice cakes, the whipped cream. And I'll be honest, this was a great candle. Now, there are no notes on the bottom now, but I do know that Kent over on the Candle Channel, who is a graphic designer with Goose Creek, going forward, I know his designs have the scent notes at the bottom. Not 100% sure if all the ones will going forward, but I assume they will. But anyway, I'll be honest, when I first burned this, super strong. Really, really happy with the fragrance throw from Goose Creek, but... Performance-wise, very, very similar to Bath & Body Works. When it got to about the halfway mark, again, super, super low flames, really small. So it, it really is just, what do you what do you want to do? Like, you know what I mean? It's going to happen with these three-wick style jars with these brands. I feel like Goose Creek and Bath & Body Works are very much in the same level. I did really enjoy this though. This to me has a much more juicy strawberry fragrance than typical Bath & Body Works strawberry pound cake. And I'll be honest, when I smell the jar now completely gone, it doesn't smell burnt and murky like the Bath & Body Works strawberry pound cake does when I finish it. So there's that. And the air never smelled really gross, but the flames did get really small. I still have six and then I have one here. So seven more to burn through. I have not placed any more orders. I really just want to sit and burn through them to see how they go. Next, I finished a Homeworks candle and this is glazed gingerbread. The notes read iced gingerbread, brown sugar, Grand Marnay, and ginger. And okay, I'm going to give this to Homeworks that the burn, it did burn down completely all the way down. I burned this about three hours at a time. It smells in the jar exactly how it smelled when it burned. Nothing. I mean, this was a completely unscented candle. I tried it in my bedroom. I tried it in my office. Tried it in my living room. I never got a throw from this thing. I burned it a couple times in a hurricane to see if maybe that would intensify the fragrance. Nothing. And, okay, let's just show you this Goose Creek candle. Like, the lid, like it is a lid, right? These Homeworks lids, I mean, this is so terrible that a lid can literally bend in half, like with no effort at all. Like it's just, Homeworks has really gone down the drain and I'm super happy to not have any more in my collection. And after the trial and trial and trial of trying more and more and more, it's just not worth it money-wise to even try them anymore. So I finished the homework candle and now onto Kringle. Now I do want to make a disclaimer. I am a Kringle ambassador. I do earn a commission when you use my affiliate link to purchase Kringle candles. So just putting that out there, but 
I'm an ambassador because I love the brand. So I would never have signed up to be an ambassador if I didn't enjoy the brand itself. So just putting that out there. If you feel like they're biased reviews, it's because it's my favorite candle company. All right, we have Fire from the Kringle Reserve Collection. Now, I feel like a lot of people have said this. I also feel this way. The Kringle Reserve line is where it's at. I love the Kringle Reserve Collection. It's my favorite. It's hands down. I love how elegant they are. I love how because of the black label and the black jar, whatever image is on the front just pops. And this fire fragrance, I really liked it. I burned this, clearly, all the way down. Nothing left in the jar. No residue on the side of the jar. It burned completely down to the bottom of the glass. And this I was burning during the really cold nights in my room. I loved this. This was smoky, sultry, a little bit incensey, almost like a smooth sandalwood in the end. It gives me a tiny bit of the Santal 33 from Le Labo vibes. It has a tiny little bit of that, like smooth, fresh sandalwood mixed with the, the fiery incense. I really liked it. I will totally repurchase this one. And then I finished two of the same fragrance, just different jars, in Christmas Cake Pop. I finished the Kringle Two Wick, completely done. Now, yes, there's soot. Because I literally let this burn, the last burn, for like 10 hours. So it is going to get sooty when you let it burn all day like that. So, yeah, that was me. I definitely let it burn that long. But it burned down all the way down. And then their three wicks burned down completely. And then I ended up putting it on the candle crock to get the last bit of wax or the fragrance out. So that's why that one wick over here shifted. Yeah, there's nothing left in it. This was great. The notes are cake batter, sugared citrus, candied sprinkles, swirls of butter, and vanilla frosting. I loved this. This was like a very light, almost like lemon zest cake pop. So almost if you were making a vanilla cake pop and just added some fresh lemon zest, a very light citrus. It was beautiful. And obviously Kringle Candles burn completely. I love the way they perform. I'm burning the Monomore 3 Wick in my bedroom right now and Dalgona in my living room right now. Perfection. Like I truly, truly, truly love those fragrances. And Mon Amour is not a strong fragrance, but when you burn it in a small bedroom, it's beautiful. It's perfect. Every time I walk in my room, it's a Sunday, so I'm doing laundry and going in and out of my room. I have TV on in the living room, and I've just been, you know, going about the house. And every time I go into my bedroom, it just smells like beautiful Mon Amour. So I love it. I love Kringle. I can't say good thing enough good things about them. I have an Easter haul coming in the mail this week. So really excited there. As far as non-candle uh, wax empties, I finished a Vanilla B Noel shower gel from Bath & Body Works. This is from last year. I like Vanilla B Noel. It's a classic sweet marshmallowy fragrance. So finish that. I feel like I could use a shower gel. I could take 10 showers a day for the rest of my life and never go through the shower gels. I finished a body cream in warm vanilla sugar. Skin's super dry in the winter, so finish that. And then I finished a counter clean from Scentsy in mandarin and mango nectar. I actually leave a counter cleaner in my car with a microfiber cloth, so I just like wipe down like my seats or my steering wheel or, you know, I mean, hey, I eat in the car, okay? I'm busy. Sometimes you have to eat in the car. Sometimes things spill and it gets dusty. It's nice to just keep a counter cleaner in your car to clean the dashboard and stuff to keep it spick and span. And I finished that. I love Sensi's counter cleaner. And then I finish. We will get into the bars as well. One, two oils. This is from the holiday collection from years and years ago. Sensi's peppermint everything and Scentsy's Fig Cookie. I'll be honest, I really didn't get much out of either of these, which is kind of a bummer, but it is what it is. I feel like they're a little too old, so I didn't finish. I didn't really get much out of that. All right, let me 
uh, separate these, like put the duos together, and then we will get into the wax. All right, first up from the Bring Back My Bar, I did a whipped vanilla pear. I did this in my bedroom. Ah, uh, uh, it's just not for me. I did order some of this in a party that is coming, and I melted this after I placed the order because I really liked it. But as I melted it, it's just not, I don't think, for me. It has a little bit of an odd, like, pear flambe scent, whereas I really was expecting a little bit more of a... I, I, I shouldn't expect it because it's whipped vanilla pear, not like a pear crumble. And it was just a little bit too sweet pear for me. Like, almost like a cloying pear vanilla scent. So, it, it wasn't for me. So, I have those two bars on their way. It's fine. Next is Toasted Caramel Sugar. I really liked this. This is definitely like a waffle cone at an ice cream shop filled with like salted caramel ice cream. I really liked this. The only problem is I only did one clam. I did it in my bedroom. It didn't really throw that long. Like it threw really nice and strong and then it was gone. Like one second it was super strong, the next second gone. So it wasn't a strong performer, but when it was in the warmers, I really liked it. This guy, I wanted to love him more than I did. Toasted apple butter. This was also a bring back my bar. This is so nice. It's no apple butter frosting because I feel like an apple butter frosting, you truly get apple. To me, it smelled like I had like a fall spice scent in my warmer. I know apple butter is a fall item, yes. But I was expecting this to be apple butter, not like spice. And that's what I got from this. I did order four in a party though that is on its way to me. And I feel like personally, if I mix this with an apple scent, I will like it more. So that's the main reason why I got more. I wanna try blending it with an apple fragrance. Speaking of an apple fragrance, I would not blend with um, apple, apple, toasted apple butter, winterberry apple tea. You guys, I was the biggest, biggest, this is so boring, scent person until I melted it. You guys, this is so great. This is so great. It's going in my club. Like, I don't care. It might not come back next year. I'm adding two to my quarterly club, so I have it stocked up. Meanwhile, I think I have like 10 bars from this year. I don't care. I love winterberry apple tea. It's a rich, warm, comforting apple fragrance that anytime I'm like, what do I want to melt? But I know I want it to be something I love, winterberry apple tea. So definitely, definitely, definitely going into my club. Let's knock out some not so great ones. Awakening. Oh, no. Mm -mm. This smells like toilet bowl cleaner. I heard a few people say that, and now that's all I smell, like scrubbing bubbles. I did it in my bathroom, though. So, uh, mm -mm, no. This, I feel like this is the majority of people say this. Lots of lavender. This is lavender and chamomile. I smell nothing. I did four cubes in a full-size warmer in my bathroom. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. So, it was basically an unscented bar. Um... Buzz Lightyear to infinity and beyond. The license bars are just not for me, most of them. And this was like a, uh, this is, listen, this and the next one are totally not for me. This is like a grape, like a, like a grape soda-y type of scent. But it has like a little bit more fruit than grape. It was not for me. This, I have a thing where I change out the wax in the morning in my warmers go to the gym, and then come home. And when I come home and I go, oh, what is that? You know it's not for me. Fizzy lifting drink. I did this in my bedroom. Oh, I smell this now. I did not like it. I feel like the Wonka collection was a total flop. But, um, yeah, I don't like this. It, again, had that, like, grape note in there that just smelled like cough syrup to me. Mm -mm. Not a fan. Also not a fan. I did this to myself, though. But they've been sitting here. I knew I wasn't going to melt them. So I just was like, you know what? 
let me get through this brownie batter. I do not love chocolate fragrances except for Kringle Candles Sinful Candle. This, oh, it was, it was strong and it lasted a long time and it smelled like brownie batter. I don't want my whole house to smell like brownie batter. I don't. And this whole thing smelled like brownie batter for days. Not a fan. Next, ah, uh, caramel praline cake. I did not add this to my club and I can see why. I don't know what it is. Is it pickles that I get in this? Do I get pickle? Do I get a note of pickle? I don't know. I, I don't like it. When it warmed, it turned funky and it wasn't very strong either. So that was a, that was a want for me. Um, let's get into something I loved. Red cedar and sage. I did this in my bedroom. I loved this. Every time I walked into my room, I'm like, this is beautiful. This is different. I have never smelled anything like this from Scentsy. It's spiced sage. Like you get that sage and you get it strong. It is fresh, fresh sage leaf. And I'm not mad about it. I really like it. With that cedar wood, this is in my club. This is great. This is one I think I could only do in like the fall and winter time, but I would like to stock up on bars throughout the year to melt in that season. I really liked red cedar and sage. Next, positively pink. I actually have that going in my office right now. And it's fine. I feel like the Breast Cancer Awareness uh, Collection, yeah, it came out in October, which is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, but the fragrances were so not for that season. So this is the only one of them I've melted so far. I'm going to continue to melt them in my um, bathroom. I think they're good bathroom scents because they're like fresh and pink and girly, but it, I did this in here and it really didn't do much for me. I'm doing this one in my bedroom now, but it's almost done. Midnight Masquerade. I like this. I like this. It's nothing that I expected. I would never say this is like a bakery bar, even though it's notes of beignet and Midnight Lily. Super weird that Lily is in a bakery fragrance, but it is. I don't know. It is. But I really like this. I thought this was nice. Um... Not going in my club or anything, but my bedroom smells great. Twitter painted. I also really like this. This is the Disney Bambi scent. It was nice. I like it. It was also fresh, watery, aquatic, and green. Yeah, it was pleasant. It was very pleasant. I did it in my office. I enjoyed it every time I walked in here. But this took the cake of scents that I was like, what? Fearless by nature. I've never melted this. I got this in a flash sale. This Fearless by Nature from the Frozen 2 Wax Collection. I love this. This is sage as well. I've determined I just love sage and wax, but this is a fresh sage. This is like sage on a really chilly, icy pond is how I describe it. It is so good. I did two bars in my dining room, living room, kitchen area, and... I simply loved it. I thought it was great. I have a few more bars that every time I melt it, I know I'm going to enjoy it. Another one that, wow, I'm enjoying. And I was shocked. Shamrock Splash, the scent of the month for February. This guy is so good. It is so good. It is tangerine, jasmine, and is it orange? Well, tangerine is orange, but... Tangerine, strawberry, and jasmine. That's it. Tangerine, strawberry, and jasmine. I love this. This is fruity. It's giving me like a fruity candy, but it's strong. It was in my living room. I actually turned it off yesterday. Didn't turn it on today because I have a candle going, but I want to see when I turn it back on probably tomorrow when I work um, how this goes because I've been really enjoying it. I don't know if I'll have it in my club, but I enjoy it. I was very shocked. Plum and White Woods. This is one I just don't know. It's nothing special to me. It's way more perfumey body care than I was expecting. I want more rich, juicy, fruity plum, like sweet plum pastry. This is definitely more body care, perfumey plum. It's fine. It's nothing I would repurchase just working through the bars of it. 
This scent, you guys, is so strange to me. Scarlet Sunflower. And it's only, like, strange to me. Nobody else says this because I feel like it's a product that a lot of people don't know about. Scarlet Sunflower. This smells... So weird. This smells like Wen Cleansing Conditioner. Like the base of Wen Cleansing Conditioner. I used to be a huge fan of Wen by Jazz Dean. And his menthol base cleansing conditioner... Smells just like this. Every time I smell this, I think of when. And I don't know why. I don't know what makes it smell that way, but it does. I like it, though, but it just reminds me of a shower. So, I don't know. It's not a, a club bar or anything. When I melt it, I constantly just think I'm in the shower. It's crazy. Caramel Sugar Cone. This is interesting to me. It's very ooey-gooey caramel. When I prefer toasted caramel sugar, this has like a malt note. And I can totally get that. It's definitely like a malted caramel. I wish it had more of the salt, like a sea salt note to almost make it a little bit more savory. But it's okay. It's like a very buttery caramel. And then last but not least, I cannot believe I didn't add any of these to my club. Any of these to my club. I thought I did. This is from the Open Plains collection, Wide Open Spaces. I don't remember the notes on this at all, but they all had like a weathered leather inspiration. And this is like leather with fresh air. I did this on a nice warm day we had this week where it wasn't super hot outside, but it was warmer than it has been. Like I wore a t-shirt and shorts and I was comfortable outside and I had this going and it just really fit the bill because that leather has just the right element of warmth to it where the wide open space or the wide open spaces scent has that freshness to it as well. Really, really enjoyed this. It didn't last long at all, but when it did, I enjoyed it. It's not my club. I can't get it anymore, but I enjoyed it. And if it was in a clearance sale, I'd probably pick some more up. And that was what I used so far since the beginning of February. It's only been 11 days and I feel like I got through quite a bit. Now, I will say, I did not finish an entire candle well, maybe I could have finished an entire candle in 10 days, but one, two, three, four, five, six. I didn't finish six candles in 10 days. These, a lot of them I have started that I'm working on finishing. I just wanted to put that out there. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Make it a better world and be kind. I love you guys so much. Bye, guys.